targets throughout pregnancy are actually the same, but insulin sensitivity varies. Early pregnancy is a time of enhanced insulin sensitivity and lower glucose levels, and women are at increased risk for hypoglycemia. This is particularly worrisome if a woman has hypoglycemia unawareness or a history of severe hypoglycemia, which means that it's very important to individualize targets early in pregnancy to avoid severe hypoglycemia and make sure that for all pregnant women, glucagon is available and their partner knows how to use it. So currently, continuous glucose monitoring is not approved for use during pregnancy, even though I think many of us use it. But the real tool is finger stick glucose monitoring, because that's the most validated and we believe is the most accurate, at least in terms of the data we have on pregnancy. So make sure that women know this, have strips and meters available, make sure those strips are unexpired, and that they should be counseled to test their finger stick glucose levels if their glucose levels are too low or too high, particularly unexpectedly. And often I'll have women just do a finger stick in the morning just to be sure that their continuous glucose monitor is in fact working correctly and is appropriately calibrated. For everybody with diabetes, whether they're pregnant or not, Glucose variability can lead to more frequent episodes of hypoglycemia. And we all think about it, that we want our patients to have pretty darn stable blood sugar levels. But this is particularly important in pregnancy where women are trying to reach lower targets. So what we're thinking about when we treat our women is to help them deal with not only dosing insulin, but also adjusting for food, for exercise, for eating and dosing in a way that maintains their glucose levels within a really stable range without having fluctuations that go from really low to really high. And that will help them be safer and manage their glucose levels more effectively. Continuous glucose monitoring is a useful tool in pregnancy because women can see if their glucose levels are going up, staying flat, or going down. Particularly with regards to hypoglycemia, women can see if they're going low quickly or very quickly and do something to prevent a low. Often this means that they can consume a little bit less carbohydrate, say 5 to 10 grams of carbohydrate to prevent going low, which is less than the amount of carbohydrate they'd likely need to consume if they were low. Stacking, in general, means giving too many doses of insulin too close together, which eventually will cause a low blood sugar reaction. But it can also mean eating too many carbohydrates too close together and going too high. And women who are pregnant are often really worried about their glucose levels, trying to keep them in this perfect range within the targets. So they end up giving too much insulin and then they come down too low. So it's very important to remind women to wait an hour or two hours before they do another treatment and avoid stacking. For more information, visit the American Diabetes Association's Time in Range website at professional.diabetes.org forward slash time in range. <music>